The Hanley Page Victor is a British jet-powered strategic bomber developed and produced by Hanley Page during the Cold War. The origin of the Victor and the other V bombers is heavily linked with the early British atomic weapons program and nuclear deterrent policies that developed in the aftermath of the Second World War. Ten days later, the Air Ministry announced the aircraft's official name to be Victor. At first, Hanley Page proposed use of the 14,000-pound Sapphire 9 engines to produce a Phase 2 bomber, to be followed by Phase 3 Victors with much greater wingspan at 137 feet and powered by Bristol Siddeley Olympus turbojets or Rolls-Royce Conway turbofans. Hanley Page proposed to build a further refined, Phase 6 inches Victor, with more fuel and capable of carrying up to four Skybolt ballistic missiles on standing airborne patrols, but this proposal was rejected although it was agreed that some of the Victor B-2s on order would be fitted to carry two Skybolts. Designated Victor SR.2, a single aircraft could photograph the whole of the United Kingdom in a single two-hour sortie. Some of the ECM equipment which initially saw use on the Victor, such as the original chaff dispenser and orange putter tail warning radar, had been developed for the earlier English Electric Canberra bomber and were already considered to be near obsolete by the time the Victor had entered service. During the flight tests of the first prototype, the Victor proved its aerodynamic performance, flying up to Mach 0.98 without handling or buffeting problems, there were next to no aerodynamic changes between prototype and production aircraft. One unusual flight characteristic of the early Victor was its self-landing capability. Once lined up with the runway, the aircraft would naturally flare as the wing entered into ground effect while the tail continued to sink, giving a cushioned landing without any command or intervention by the pilot. The Victor has been described as an agile aircraft, atypical for a large bomber aircraft, in 1958, a Victor had performed several loops and a barrel roll during practices for a display flight at Farnborough Air Show. The Victor bomber force continued to build up, with 57 Squadron forming in March 1959 and 55 Squadron in October 1960. British intelligence had estimated that the Soviets' radar network was capable of detecting the Victor at up to 200 miles away, so to avoid interception, the Victor would follow carefully planned routes. While Skybolt's development would be terminated, Victor B-2s were retrofitted as carrier aircraft for the Blue Steel standoff nuclear missile. In 1964-1965, a series of detachments of Victor B-1 as was deployed to RAF Tenga, Singapore as a deterrent against Indonesia during the Borneo conflict, the detachments fulfilling a strategic deterrent role as part of Far East Air Force, while also giving valuable training in low-level flight and visual bombing. The RAF had experienced intense demand on its existing aerial refueling tanker fleet, and its existing fleet of Victor B-1 tankers that had been converted earlier were due to be retired in the 1970s, so it was decided that the stored Victor B-20 Paise would be converted to tankers also. Hanley Page prepared a modification scheme that would see the Victors fitted with tip tanks, the structure modified to limit further fatigue cracking in the wings, and ejection seats provided for all six crew members. At one point during the early 1960s, South Africa showed considerable interest in the acquisition of several bomber-configured Victors, in the end, the Victor did not serve with any operator other than the RAF. Several of the Victor B-2s had been converted for strategic reconnaissance missions following the retirement of the Valiant in this capacity. Following the invasion of Kuwait by neighboring Iraq in 1991, a total of eight Victor K-2s were deployed to Bahrain to provide in-flight refueling support to RAF and other coalition aircraft during the subsequent 1991 Gulf War. Shortly after the Gulf War, the remaining Victor fleet was quickly retired in 1993, at which point it had been the last of the three V-bombers in operational service, retiring nine years after the last Vulcan, although the Vulcan had survived longer in its original role as a bomber. Victor B-1 Strategic Bomber Aircraft, 50 built. Victor B-1A Strategic Bomber Aircraft, B-1 updated with Red Steer Tail Warning Radar and ECM Suite, 24 converted. The 19th of August 1968, Victor K-1XH-646 of 214 Squadron collided in mid-air near Holt, Norfolk in bad weather with a 213 Squadron English Electric Canberra WT-325. All four crew members of the Victor died, as did all three on board the Canberra. The Buccaneer hit the Victor's tailplane causing the Victor to crash into the sea 95 miles east of Sunderland, Tyne and Weir, four crew killed. 